Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 9 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp video series. And in this video, I'll be talking about creating pipeline project using Jenkins 2.0 for build, test and reporting. And before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 8 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. And as you can see in this slide, we have a reporting being highlighted and the reason is because this part is a complete continuation of part 8 where in part 8 we created a simple pipeline project to perform both build and test but we did not perform any reporting yet. So far we have not even touched the reporting part even in the freestyle project. So we are going to make use of the reporting this time. So for that I am going to show you very quickly what kind of reporting that we are going to make use of. So as we know in our Exit Automation channel, we have already discussed about reporting. In our Exit Automation channel, we have something called as Section 2 Cucumber with Selenium, where we have something called as reporting in Cucumber using Maven Cucumber reporting. So we are going to make use of these two videos, which is part 6 and part 7 of our Exit Automation channel. So please go ahead and watch those two since we are going to make use of exactly the same thing. In these two video, we actually covered something like this, Cucumber reporting. So if you just search for Cucumber reporting, and there is something called as this, Cucumber reporting, and this is a very, very pretty report, which is going to show you report something like this. So we just used this to create a report for us using Maven in our previous video series of our Exit Automation channel in Cucumber, but we did not really integrate that with the Jenkins yet. So we are going to make use of that. But actually, if you can see here, if you just hover here, you can see that there is information here showing there is a plugin which is already available for Jenkins as well. So we can make use of that. And that plugin is something right here, Cucumber Reports plugin. So we are going to install this particular plugin. As you can see, the screenshots, screenshots are pretty much same that we saw in the GitHub. So we are going to make use of this particular plugin for our Jenkins to generate a report for our test, right? And again, we are going to make use of this reporting plugin reports to be generated for our pipeline project. So what I'm going to basically do is, if I hop over to my Windows 10 machine, this is the same place where we left our execution. So if I go back to my project, so far, oops, it's logged out. All right, Jenkins is running. So far, what we did is, if you just go to the build result of the freestyle project, you can see there is no such reporting options here. You can even don't find any reporting options yet. But once we install this plugin and once we configure that with our pipeline project, you can see there will be one more option for reporting. So first of all, we need to install the plugin, right? So for that, I'm going to go to the manage Jenkins option. And here there is something called as manage plugins. And here there is something called as available tab. So you can go to this available tab where you can search for the Cucumber plugin. So I'm going to just search for Cucumber report. And you can see there is something called as a Cucumber report plugin which is automatically coming in. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to say install without restart. So I'm going to cl click this button. So this is going to install the plugin for me. All right, succeeded. So I'm just going to do a logout and log in once again so that it will refresh. And now if I go to the Selenium with Cucumber pipeline project and if I go to the configure option, we have to give or maybe we have to run the Cucumber reporting at the end of the test execution, right? So once the test is being executed, then we actually have to generate the report, which is nothing but the Cucumber report. That's how it will be done, right? So using the JSON file, it is actually using the test result XML file. It is going to actually create Cucumber report for us. So again, if I go back to the syntax of the pipeline and if I just do a refresh because we have made a plugin installation, and now if I go back and if I search for how we can get that particular XML file generated, if I go to the, what is called as a common steps, remember the one which we saw in our previous video, how we can use this, the general build step, right? So I can select that. And this time, if I just go, go over here, we have something called as Cucumber reports this time. 
this is something new and this came once we installed the plugin actually so I'm gonna select that and then if I just select the advanced option it will tell you where the JSON file is actually residing basically the JSON file is going to be residing within my test result folder so it is going to be okay so everything is fine I really don't I really don't have to change anything the target folder itself will be automatically taken for that case so I'm gonna hit this generate pipeline script and this is gonna show you a lot of things oh my god so I'm just gonna copy all of them and you can see there are so many other options available here so a number of failed steps if you want to show you can show that and number of skipped steps if you want to show you can show that and you can you can configure this as well right the reporting option but really I'm not going to deep dive into this reporting option I'm just going to leave everything by default whatever is there so I'm just going to leave that all I need is this particular line so I'm just going to copy this and then if I go back here I can just paste this over here right so I can just paste this and I can just save it now right that's it super simple it is and now if I build this time you can actually see that it is going to perform all the operation pretty much exactly the same thing like downloading or cloning the repository and then executing the test after build and then it is finally going to generate a report for us so let's wait for a while once all the operation is done I'll be back Here we go, test execution is done. Probably our execution should be done by now. So if I go this time over here, and if I go to the console output, we should probably see some things really gonna happen. You can see that the Maven Cucumber reporting is actually generating right now. So it is taking few minutes. All right, seems like the finished status is success here. So everything is pretty much good right now, right? So now if I go back to the project and if I come back to this particular test execution once again, you can see that we have right now a Cucumber report option here, which was not there before so far. So if I click this particular Cucumber report, basically this is the same Cucumber report which is automatically generated using the Cucumber reports plugin. And you can see that it is pretty neat and decent this time. It is showing the failure and it is showing the number of scenarios got passed and number of scenarios got failed. And this failure is actually happening intentionally. We did this in order to show this in report. And you can also see what are the steps being executed and there is only one step got failed among eight steps. So there is seven step passed and one step got failed. And you can see number of passed step, number of failed step, number of skip, all those things. So informations are pretty clear here. And you can also see the previous result if you have any which is not there and then if I go back to the latest result so this is the latest result that we got and then you can search with the tags and what are the steps being executed so you can see everything over here using this pretty neat cucumber report that you can also integrate with the Jenkins right so this is pretty pretty simple and straightforward and you can see that how easily you can generate a reporting along with your continuous integration system and you can see in exactly what expected report that you are expecting for right so that's it guys this is how you can do a build test and reporting using pipeline in a very very high level so in our next video we'll see one more option of pipeline which is more helpful to show the progress of how the test is actually happening instead of just waiting and looking at this particular screen for a pretty long time like how the test execution is really happening because as you can see here there is something called as a stage view where it says that please use stage step to define some stages in the pipeline so we'll actually deep dive and drill into it what actually it is so once again guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day